In this video, we look at what a sales funnel is and how to create one in five simple stages. If you're interested in learning how to measure its success and how to increase your conversion rate, be sure to check out our other video linked above on your screen now and in the description below. Although you can't guarantee that visitors purchase from your store on their first visit, you'll increase the chance of converting them if you devise an effective e-commerce sales funnel that reflects your customer's buying journey. An e-commerce sales funnel illustrates your customer's journey from the moment they become aware of your product to when they purchase a product. The sales funnel may also increase customer retention, cross-selling, and subscription-based sales. Depending on the products you offer and how users navigate through your e-commerce store, your conversion funnel might change in specifics. You might have a shorter funnel and a faster conversion rate if your prices are low because consumers have one less thing to worry about when deciding whether to purchase your product. But some basic steps to creating an effective funnel apply regardless of your target audience or type of business. Your e-commerce store needs a reliable sales funnel to analyze which areas of your e-commerce business drive sales and which areas need to be optimized. Your conversion funnel might show, for instance, that your audience uses social media to follow your store's promotions or discounts. Armed with this information, you would boost your presence on social media platforms like Facebook or increase your followers. To best understand how a sales funnel works, Smart Insights Visual Diagram comes in handy by illustrating what the average conversion rate for an e-commerce sales funnel is. As this example shows, nearly 50% view a product page, but only 15% add a product, and only 3.3% make a purchase. Such a difference in conversion rates shows how important it is to improve your landing pages with compelling call to actions that encourage users to buy your product. Simplifying the checkout process and boosting the speed of transactions will also help optimize your conversion rates for maximizing sales. You can create a sales funnel through five key steps. Your consumer moves through each, starting from the moment they learn about your product to the moment they make a purchase. Number one, the awareness stage. The awareness stage is at the top of the funnel and represents your initial exchange with potential customers. They become aware of your e-commerce business, your products and services, and the benefits and solution you offer to their problems. The information and content you deliver to potential users are especially important at this stage because it may highlight a problem consumers are unaware of. Convincing content identifies your target audience, introduces your brand identity, and offers solutions to potential problems for your customers. The best strategy is not to try too hard, but to deliver valuable information focused on educating your audience on the benefits and using your products and services. The goal at this stage is to inform, not sell. Whether your user is searching for a specific product or searching for a service you offer, they will learn about your company through a web search. SEO becomes a crucial strategy if you want to end up on top of Google search results. You can use several tactics to improve your search rankings and increase traffic to your site. One of the best ways is to write long form copy that educates your users with blog posts, but you can also use downloadable material like videos, white papers, and PDFs. Using short videos or visual content through Facebook ads can also be a good way to introduce your brand. Ultimately, you want engaging content that not only forms, but also builds trust with new customers. Since Google largely ranks its results based on engagement or click-through rates, your best bet is to have interesting material that encourages clicking links or call to actions. Number two, the interest stage. At the second stage, you have a compelling copy that draws your customer's attention, but not everyone who learns about your e-commerce business is interested in learning more about it. Each customer journey is different and users have equally different motives when they navigate your site. If customers are interested, they will initiate contact. They may subscribe to your newsletter, download an article, or become a follower on social media. You can facilitate your customers' move through this stage by using different strategies. Fast navigation is key. If navigating between pages becomes a hassle, they may abandon the site before moving further in the funnel. Make your inventory searchable and use filters so it's even easier for your visitors to explore your products and services. Another strategy is to include links to your social media like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. It's a perfect place for potential customers to chat and connect with your team. To engage your audience even further, you may include a clear call to action, 
However, this isn't the time to pitch your actual product. Instead, offer something like a discount just for visiting a landing page or use a pop-up offer that gathers email addresses in exchange for something your customer would value. For example, this could be a helpful ebook. Number three, the decision stage. Once consumers have looked for the different products or services you offer, they'll decide whether to buy from your store. Here, your goal is to convince them of the value and benefit of your product and prove your initial claim. To convince consumers you are a genuine brand, you can use strategies that highlight user reviews or word of mouth, social media content, expert reviews or case studies. Sometimes reviews from recognized experts or authorities are necessary. Citing reliable research and testimonials is a great way to support your claim because many look to scientific facts for purchasing items. Clear product descriptions with high-resolution images can also help consumers decide, especially with products that have a heavy visual appeal like clothing, artifacts, jewelry, and the like. To give an extra nudge, you can also offer things like discounts, free shipping, gift cards, and easy returns. Not only are these enticing promotions, but they also encourage further engagement from consumers to buy from you again. Number four, the action stage. The action stage is the final push button in a customer's buying journey. This is when your customer follows through with their transaction by making a purchase. Facilitating the checkout process is key since a smooth buying process gets them to the next step in the funnel to buy again. To improve your online checkout process, you can focus on several tactics. Creating a sign-up process can be one of the easiest ways you can make the checkout experience more convenient. By having an account, your customers can automatically fill payment and shipping information, have access to previous orders, or reorder items faster. It saves time and eliminates the hassle of filing forms every time they make a purchase. That said, for other stores, requiring guests to sign in before purchasing may not be the best idea, so do some testing here to see which method works best. Yet another frequently used tactic, especially for multiple step checkout processes, is to have status indicators that inform your customers where in the process they are. When you have a multi-page checkout, it's important to have the checkout basket on every page so your customers don't abandon the transaction to look for information about their purchase. If you ensure your customers that their personal and payment information are secure, they are more likely to continue with the checkout process. Having a constant reminder of secure purchases by placing security certificates and messages in the footer of each page on your site will bring peace of mind to your buyers. Lastly, you can accept multiple methods of payment to meet your customers' preferences. This works with card types as well as digital ways of payment like Amazon Pay, Apple Pay, or PayPal. Number five, the repeat business stage. The last stage in the sales funnel happens after your customers make a purchase, and it's the ideal goal for any e-commerce business to have returning customers who enjoyed the buying experience. Customer retention is crucial because this group of customers can advocate for your brand, refer a friend, share their experiences on social media, and ultimately grow your business with referral sales or brand advocacy. This is why rewarding your loyal customers is an effective way to establish a strong customer base. You want the best possible experience for repeat customers with features like loyalty programs, gift cards, or bonuses for repeating purchases, discounts or prizes for best customers on social media, or VIP invitations to exclusive events. A good example is Sephora's Beauty Insider program, which provides a private hotline and invitation to exclusive events for their most loyal buyers, those who buy $1,000 per year from the site. They also offer other tiered levels with even greater rewards, further encouraging customers to shop with them again and again. Setting up a loyalty program is super easy. Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce and Magento all have plugins for such programs. You can improve these by tailoring them to your target audience, like offering customer surveys, promoting the program on your site or social media, or giving freebies or reward points to get your loyal base going. Creating a sales funnel might seem like a complicated process, but it should be at the very top of your to-do list if you want to improve user experience, generate sales, and increase conversions. To learn how to measure the success of your sales funnel, or how to increase your conversion rate, be sure to check out our other video in the description below. 
or if you need any help creating and implementing these types of powerful strategies, feel free to contact us to speak with one of our experienced e-commerce experts. Thanks for checking in with us today. Don't forget to leave your comments, hit that like button below and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.